Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And it was a little late um, this week on the next 48. So I wanted to go ahead and do that and see what's going on. What are we dealing with here in the next 48 hours? All right, so let's see. Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides and Angels, please allow me to deliver a clear message here for the Aries Collective. Thank you so much. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so the three energies that we have out here are denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. We have patience. You are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. And we have gratitude. I am thankful for the life and opportunities that it presents. Okay, I'm going to pull one from the um, Angel Answers deck. See what the energies are for the Aries Collective for the next 48 hours. Okay, we have meditation brings answers. I'm not surprised we're in the energy of this Mercury retrograde. So now is the time to, if there's any confusion in your life, to be grounding yourself and meditating to get clarity. At the bottom of the deck, we have there's something better. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to pull some from the Romance Angels. Okay, beautiful message. All right, so we have reconciliation. All right, I'm going to put that on top of denial. Someone for your past is returning to your life. Okay, not surprise. Mercury retrograde energy. On top of patience, we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Mm, could that be why somebody is coming back? Are they struggling? Um financially i feel like some of you may reject this person with reconciliation under over denial or you may be in denial um of this person's actions and on top of gratitude we have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now and this is like my law of attraction card the very soon and so that makes sense that it's on top of gratitude because that is the activator the strongest force when you are manifesting if you would like something to come towards you being thankful for it before it even shows up is a major part in attracting what you want deciding what you want being thankful for it right being clear on what this situation is all right, but uh, the message here is there's something better. And if you're not seeing things clearly, you may want to meditate before you make a decision that you might regret, especially with somebody coming back from the past. All right, let's get some more clarity here with the Island Time Wellness. Hmm. All right, so we have separation. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. So that energy is strong right now where somebody here is reminiscing. Could be you, Aries. Could be your person here. But all of a sudden, this energy just got really strong, right? During this Mercury retrograde of somebody reminiscing about the past, the good things, right? You may be in separation here. <clears throat> we have the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out, things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. <clears throat> yeah, and photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. Mm -hmm. A lot of past energy coming up here. A lot of reminiscing, a lot of missing someone. Um, 
Yeah. Reconciliation heavy on the table right now. Beware, Aries. If this is someone that you know that you're not meant to be with, this is someone here who's coming in to test you. Um, let's beware. Okay. They may have some ulterior motives. We pull two from the Kipper. All right, and two came out. Pathway, an official person. Okay, so you could be getting um, some sort of a message here from someone. Seems legal in nature. Okay, some of you could be getting recognized or getting a promotion. Oh, okay. Yeah, Aries, I feel like someone here is elevating in life, right? It could be a promotion. It just could be status in general with the pathway here. And I think people are seeing you. I'm getting Six of Wands energy with this pathway. So they're seeing you on this journey. They're seeing you elevate. They're seeing you move, right, in a beautiful new direction. The number 22 here is highlighted. Um been seeing that a lot. So someone, not just one or two people, but a few people and a significant person here coming back from your from your past is recognizing all the hard work that you've put in as well. We have toil and labor at the bottom of the deck. All right. So I'm going to pull three cards from a tarot deck. What is this tarot deck called? I forgot. Um, the Lightseer's deck. Let's see what the overall energy is. Three cards. Hmm. I'm feeling like someone here has been having um, issues with moving on. Could be you, Aries. It could be the person. And they're finally getting the courage to come back. Come back around and trying to see if they could have one more chance. You know, it's that typical story. So you can go ahead and log off now if you have an issue with, you know, past people. I know people very vocal about that but this is just what it is somebody has something that they have to close out they have a chapter that they have to um you know finish up all right so let's see what's going on here see the four of wands at the bottom of the deck so this could definitely be a spiritual union so ace of wands yeah See, two of wands. It's bigger than just, wow, ace of cups at the bottom of the deck. It's bigger than just this past person coming back. This is about which direction you're going to move in, Aries. Some of you, you may have went back to this person quite a few times. But this may be the deciding factor if, hey, I'm going to finally close this out now because now I have options. Before I went to this person, I went back to this person because this is all I had, maybe out of boredom, maybe because there was new, no new people coming in. Well, now you're faced with a choice here because there's a lot of new energy here. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Two of Wands here is making a decision. Which way are you going to go? Do you want new this time or do you want to go to the old? Look at that. Five of Wands. Conflict. Competition even. You know, could be two people, literally. Ace of Wands. Two of Wands and the Five of Wands. All Aries energy. You could be dealing with another fire sign as well. Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, a lot of fire. A lot of passion behind this decision. Somebody could be very con conflicted. I'm also feeling somebody could be coming in out of nowhere to fight for your attention. To fight for that second chance. Which is really going to confuse someone. Which is really putting someone in an energy of what do I do? Does this person really love me? How they say they love me? Is that why they're fighting so hard for me? Or are they jealous? Do they want a piece of what I have? Do they want a piece of my pie? Do they see me elevating? You know, so that could be very confusing here. And that's sometimes why these reconciliation people from the past come up and people need clarity. Is this really where I should be moving? Or is this person coming back in to use me? Okay. <clears throat> I 
All right, I think I'm going to use Mystic Goddess's Confessions um, after the tarot so we can see what's going on here. Holy Spirit, Spirit Guards, and Angels, please allow me to give a clear message here for the Aries Collective for the next 48. Thank you. See the two of Pentacles and the Fool and the Sun. All right. So what do we have here for the Aries Collective? Yeah, the Moon. Moon in Reverse could be dealing with a Cancer or Pisces here, but something is coming out, Aries. Somebody has been suppressing feelings or emotions for you. This could be you suppressing these feelings or emotions, hiding them. And I feel like somebody is about to come forward and express their deepest emotions. The wind is really bad outside, so I keep hearing a lot of stuff. Yeah. I also feel like somebody could, this person could have a fear of coming towards you. Maybe that's why it's taking so long with the patience card here for them to come out and speak to you or come towards you. There's a challenge here, spirit. Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Oh my goodness, what time is it? All right, it must be my neighbor coming home. <laughs> Sorry. Knight of Pentacles here is a challenge position. Moving forward. It's, it's taking forever for me to see some sort of forward movement, any new connections, right? The bottom of the deck of the Eight of Cups. Could you be having a difficult time moving on from a connection? Is that why you haven't seen any new people, any new relationships come in yet? They're coming. The Knight of Pentacles is coming. But again, there's something here that you need to let go of or fully, completely walk away from. Could be dealing with an earth sign. Two of cups. Mm. For whatever reason, spirit wants you to focus on a connection. It could be this one. It could be a new one. But the two of, two of cups is here. There's a soulmate connection here that spirit wants you to focus on. This could be a, a relationship that you're manifesting. This could be the desire to be in a connection. I see a lot of growth here within yourself, Aries. You doing the soul work, the shadow work to work on yourself to bring in new connections. Yeah. Okay, so this is new. There is a newer connection that is being presented to you, Ace of Cups. Yeah, this even feels like you pouring into yourself for a long period of time where you haven't had any connections, but you have been loving yourself. You've realized how important it is after a relationship that was really draining to you. Some of you are coming out of depression with the moon in reverse. Some of you are coming out of a very dark period in your life. Queen of Cups, yeah. Following your intuition, there's definitely love coming towards you, Aries. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have a lot of water energy. There you are at the bottom of the deck. But there's a loving connection coming towards you. A lot of you are finding this love through your own love for yourself. It's something that you've never experienced before or you weren't able to do because of a past connection that really had you drained and depleted. Thank you so much, Mayami, just for the, the Venmo I just got during this, 888. Thank you so much. Um, beautiful. So yes, Queen of Cups here. I feel like this is the love coming towards you, Aries. But that somebody has a decision to make. Past love or new love, right? The, 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 the end all story that no, everybody gets tired of hearing about, but it's here. So if this is not for you, it's for someone. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like though somebody here is has is more importantly than choosing a person, it's about somebody here has chosen themselves. And for the first time in your life, you've putting yourself first. 
And so you're seeing new beginnings and new opportunities. And that can be a really hard decision to make. When you're getting used to choosing you and somebody that you once loved comes back in, Knight of Swords, somebody is rushing in to communicate. What do they want to do? What, are they, what is the action they want to take? The feelings that they have for you. High Priest is here. Very spiritual connection. Aries, you could know or feel this person about to come back in. You could be psychic or intuitive yourself with the high priestess. What energy here is Aries in? The judgment. So you're just about ready to make this decision. You've made up your mind about what it is that you want to do, Aries. The outcome will tell us. You've learned your lessons. I feel like you've revisited the past more than enough times to know what this person is capable of. Let's see what is in your environment. Wow, the Ten of Cups. So there is a relationship. There is a happily ever after here surrounding you. And I think you feel it. I think you know that there's a better opportunity in the future than there is in the past. Seven of Wands here. Very defensive and protective of your energy, right? Why? Because you've poured into yourself and you don't want somebody to come in and take from you what you have been working so hard to build up. <clears throat> that was the Three of Swords that wanted to come out. This is Aries' inner emotions. Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Might as well be the Three of Swords because somebody has wasted your time for long enough. Somebody has felt like they were in a connection by themselves where they carried all the weight. They were the ones that were the only ones that were truly hurting. And they've invested so much in a connection that really depleted them. And I, Aries, I feel like you're tired. You're tired of giving someone second chances. You're tired of putting in all the work by yourself. You're tired of being in a relationship by yourself. Somebody took a very long time with the Ten of Wands to get there, to make that realization that you were the one that was carrying all the weight. And you know what? Sometimes, you know, it sounds black and white, but when you're in it, it's not really that simple. It's not that clear and cut dry. The love that you have for another can sometimes be stronger than the love that you have for yourself. And when that happens, it blinds you of what's right for you. And guess what? When you're dealing with somebody like that, they're always going to keep taking. They're not going to, they're never going to say, Hey babe, stop. Maybe you should, you know, do for yourself more than you do for me. No, they're never going to do that. They're going to want you to keep giving and giving and giving to them. Okay. So what is in the outcome? The chariot. You could be dealing with a cancer, Aries, but you're definitely moving forward. You're no longer giving this person a second chance and you're no longer looking back. Okay, wow, four of, four of wands here. So you could have a commitment on the horizon. Five of wands, again, somebody is ready to come in, I feel like, and, 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 and literally ruin that or take their chances in fighting for you. Yeah, with the Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, excuse me. Somebody is definitely trying to come in and, and, and claim their stake here. Male or female, right? <clears throat> Men, if this is a female that you've been dealing with, if you've not heard from them, when they see another woman on your arm, best believe they're going to rush in. And I'm even here, I'm feeling like they're going to cause some sort of drama. This person can, could have been silent and not communicating with you for a long time. When they see you with someone else, it's going to be very triggering. Same with you, ladies. Let's take a look here and see what this Knight of Swords energy. The Hangman. So this person here you're dealing with could be a Pisces. The hangman's kind of coming in reverse. Again, it's just exactly what I just said. All cards always do that. Hangman in reverse. There's been a long period of time of silence. I'm also even feeling like somebody here was literally blocking you from moving on. And it could not have been like, you know, literally, but because the fact that they left whatever situation was unsaid, unfinished, no closure. 
Now, all of a sudden, they want to come back in and they have a lot to say. Hangman in reverse, three of swords. And the emperor. Yeah. Aries, it just could be you. If this is a male Aries. If not, this, you know, this is just an energy of someone rushing in. We have the king of cups at the bottom of the deck. And the king, I mean, the ten of swords and the king of swords. Underneath there, the eight of cups. I mean, I'm telling you, somebody is rushing back in after a period of not speaking to you. They've left you in devastation, three of swords. They could have possibly left you for another person. Maybe a Pisces or another Aries. They definitely left you for another person. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Wow, this person left you for someone else, Aries. Let's clarify one more time. Three of Wands. This person wanted you to chase them. They were waiting for you to come back in. And I keep hearing, and I haven't said it, but I keep hearing the grass wasn't greener. They were they were searching for greener grass. So they kept you waiting, not telling you guys what they were doing. They were also waiting for you to come in and chase them. Despicable. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look at this two of cups here that spirit wants you to focus on. Nine of Wands, holding on to a connection that was toxic. High Priestess, knowing that this is not good for you. Somebody again following their intuition. I'm also hearing somebody's intuition was blocked. Yeah, Seven of Cups, confusion. Somebody may not have wanted to let go of somebody because they knew they were a high priestess. They knew that they were spiritually inclined. They knew that there was a spiritual connection. Even though that the connection was unhealthy, they didn't want to let go. Let's take a look at the Ace of Cups here. So Queen of Rods, Queen of Wands. Knight of Wands and the Hermit. Aries, you could have a Virgo rushing in towards you. This could be the new person that you're dating. Getting a dating energy here. Also hearing you have a new type. So these new people, yeah, Queen of Swords here. Um, the new person that you're dating could be completely different. You're not accepting any more players or people who juggle or go back and forth between two, you know, who are not clear on their intentions. Let's say that. Okay. The queen of rods here, ace of cups, knight of wands, the hermit, and the queen of swords. Somebody also may have withdrew from the connection and I'm feeling like they're rushing back in now that they, again, they realize that this was not worth it. But obviously someone's not accepting that. Queen of Swords energy upright. She's very protective. She sees the truth now. She'd rather be alone than play or put up with anybody's games. Okay. Someone left. Even this Queen of Wands here could be the other woman. Male or female could be the another woman. They left for passion. They left for lust. They left for sex. Now we have the Queen of Cups up here. Let's see who this is. <clears throat> Two of Swords. What is this Queen of Cups energy? And the Wheel of Fortune. You're choosing you. This Queen of Cups energy is about self-love. You're blocking out the karmic. You've learned your lessons. You're making a decision to choose you. 
Yeah. Yeah. Bottom of the deck. Six of swords. Moving away from conflict. Moving away from a fucking disaster. <laughs> Not just conflict, but from a disaster. Let's see what this judgment is. Aries, the energy you're in. Queen of Pentacles. And the Nine of Cups. Your wish fulfillment. What makes you happy? Nurturing yourself. You're getting a wish fulfillment out of this Aries. This wasn't an easy situation. This wasn't an easy decision to make. A lot of you are building yourself up in your work, career, finances. And you're finally about to live or you're experiencing living the life that you deserve. You wanted that you've manifested the Nine of Cups energy. It's a wish. A wish come true. I feel like a lot of you never felt like you would get here because you had somebody holding you back. You were possibly, again, carrying the weight of a connection. And that weight was blocking you from realizing your goals. What is the Ten of Cups here in the Aries environment? Six of Cups. Page of Wands and the Lovers. You're going to be getting communication from this person here. This also seems like someone new. Could be a Gemini. Could be another Aries. Six of Swords here. I have three sixes. Six, six, six. So Aries, you're definitely going to be finding balance in a connection. We have the devil here at the bottom of the deck. Oh, past person coming in. You know the deal, right? You are the love of their life, Aries. With this lovers here, the Ten of Cups, the Six of Cups, soulmate connection. But they are unable to give you what you deserve. So you're leaving. Point blank, period. Ten of Cups, Six of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Lovers, the Six of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. This person could only give you the bare minimum. And you feel like they could only give you what they give themselves. They can't give you what you deserve because they can't even give themselves what they deserve. What is the chariot here in the outcome? <clears throat> oh, beautiful. Look at this. The queen of cups again, the hierophant, and the chariot. This self-love Aries is taking you to a beautiful new connection, a serious one. Could even possibly lead to marriage. Could have uh, cancer, could have Taurus, or could be a water sign. For some of you, because not everyone obviously is going to go back, but there is a, a big percentage of people who are obviously thinking about going back. Because that's what this whole reading is about. It's not just that this past person is coming back. It's the fact that somebody has a decision to make. Just know that, you know, the relationship that you're praying for is here. It's in the outcome. So if you go back, you're taking a gamble. You're taking a risk. A lot of people um, want to stick to what's familiar and pray that they can change it. Mm -hmm. Manifestation here, trying to make something new happen with the old. Just know it's a gamble. Nothing is guaranteed. Um, this person here, I'm, speak, I'm I'm thinking of two of wands here again, definitely making a decision. Is going to talk a good talk, especially with this knight of swords. They're going to say whatever they need to say. They're going to say it quickly, swiftly. Um, they're going to say what they need to say without even thinking. So a lot of the things that they say are not going to have a lot of substance to them. Be careful when making this decision because your future depends on it. Okay, that's what I have for you. Take care.